Have you got the yoke for the wind down? Well, said the minister, you are just lucky that you came today, Lars, because the janitor quit, and you can be the janitor. Oh, but Lars was so happy about this, so he says to the minister, so the minister says to Lars, he said, all you need to do, Lars, is to sign your name right here on the paper for the social security. Well, Lars says, I never learned to scream my name. I never learned to write my name. Well, the minister says, you know, Lars, it is nothing against you, but if you're here cleaning up the church and the phones you drink, and you've got to take a message, it's best that you know how to scream your name, to write your name. So he says, sorry you can't have the yacht, but no hard feelings. And Lars says, no, there's no hard feelings. So Lars went out and he got on a job on a section gang and he worked uh, on the railroad clear across the whole United States. And he ended up in Seattle, Washington. And then he went to Ballard. And he got on one of those fishing boats and so he was up there fishing for halibuts. And they had a good season. And he made a whole bunch of penguin money. So he bought into a boat. And then the next year he bought a boat of his own. And then pretty soon he had two or three boats. And then he had several boats. Well, and then he bought a beautiful home and a new car. And he joined the sons of Norway. And he got a new fur coat for his wife. Then the Lars decided he, what he really needed was a floating cannery. So when they catch the fish out there, they can keep them fresh until they get into the shore. <coughs> So he went to the banker and he says to the banker, you know, I need a whole bunch of penny for this floating cannery ship I want to buy. Well, said the banker, let me see your statement, but I heard good things about you. I bet I can do it for you. So the banker looked at the statement and he was very impressed. And he says, I'll give you as much penny as you want. You just sign your name right here on this piece of paper. Well, Lars says, I never learned to scream my name. So the banker was just disgusted and he says, you mean to tell me that you own all these boots and you, own, you joined the sons of Norway and you got a new car and a beautiful home and your wife has a new fur coat and you don't know how to write, write your name? So he says, can you just imagine where you would be today if you had learned to scream your name? So Lars says, yes, I know where I would have been. I would have been the janitor at the Lutheran church in Minneapolis.